you want to go to that playground over there? Yeah. And not this big one? Yeah, it's too big. What do you mean? Because I like that one. Okay, we can go to that one. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Rose here, personal trainer turned mama bear of two. And welcome to a summer day in the life. Fourth of July is just around the corner, which as some of you know, that is our wedding anniversary. This year marks four years of being married. Yay! Anyways, Fourth of July is a really good time in our household, not only for the wedding anniversary, but for all of the festive patriotic goodness. And so today my master plan is to decorate the house for the 4th of July. And I say plan because that's not a guarantee, but I'm really gonna try to make that my main goal and accomplishment for today. But for now, we are at the playground down the street at our local elementary school so that the littles can burn some energy and hopefully crash, which will enable me to get that task accomplished. Because I like to kill two birds with one stone, I brought my TRX, which I'm going to throw up on the play structure here. Hopefully get a little bit of stretching in, maybe a little bit of stabilization exercise if I can. And then after this, put the kids back in the stroller and I'm thinking I might go run those stairs that I've done before, this really long flight of stairs up to the soccer field. Or I might go run the track because school's out of session, I have to take advantage of this time of year. I mean, I just do. Or, depending on the kids, if they are being unruly, I'll probably just go for a walk in the neighborhood and do some hills. But that is my approach to getting my exercise in today. And then tonight, we are gonna do a huge Costco haul. We are in need of some serious essential items and that just desperately needs to happen. Kids are enjoying this way too much. We have this amazing play structure and a whole nother playground over there that is super cool. And they would much rather play with this little outdoor activity center, which I looked up online and it's like ridiculously expensive. It's like $200 for this thing. Although it is really cool. It's got a little barbecue area. It's missing like the top barbecue like hood a sink and then you can put sand or water in there and then there's just like a little table over there like it's really cute little doors it's honestly pretty cool i would love to have something like this for the house because we honestly have nothing like this for the out outside play but uh logan where'd you go bud he's such a little wanderer <sighs> well at least this area is fenced in so there's that playground see you again. we'll see you again here's the other really awesome playground they just remodeled i think last summer it's really sweet i love all the climbing apparatus it's awesome off-roading Woo! this is like their garden area i think for the elementary school slash middle school maybe it's really cool i love that they offer this here whole bunch of stuff growing in here which is great. Oh, it smells so good. You, you smell that the lavender and the rosemary? Smell the flowers. Doesn't that smell good? Smell this bush. Mmm, that smells so good. Yum. It smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas. Yeah, a little bit. Look, they have grapes. Oh, you found a watering can. Yeah. Please feel free to water these two plants a little if the soil looks dry. Good job. It's like a little adventure. I love this little spot, this little tunnel. Look, honey, there's an owl house. 
thing is cool. All right, I'm gonna do a few laps around the track. You have to be quiet because Logan is sleeping, okay? I'm gonna pull his canopy all the way down. Can I pull yours all the way down so you have shade? No, you wanna see? Okay, all right, we'll leave that. Nobody's here, this is awesome. I actually went to the stairs first, but uh, I just didn't feel like the stairs. This way, kids have a little bit of fun, or at least Sierra, because Logan's napping, while I push them around the track. I'm just gonna do a couple laps because we have to jam home. It's already almost two o'clock but Logan's asleep, so that's great. Maybe Sierra will follow suit, we shall see. But I just need to get some cardio in. Running just sounds so good to me right now. We're back home, holy cow, it is hot outside and it was getting especially hot on the track. You want some almonds? That's my girl, yes. I did one mile in approximately 12 minutes. That's cool, I'm not much of a runner and I'm pushing like an 80 pound stroller. We are snacking on frozen peas, which is so refreshing on a hot day. Got peas in the cups for the kids. Yeah, peas for myself. I'm gonna make a ice cold smoothie. I'm very hesitant to go up into the attic to get all the decorations right now. <laughs> it's gonna be like over 100 degrees up there, guaranteed. Yeah, we'll see about decorations today. Costco is more important, that's for sure. I can always do the decorations tomorrow. surprised that Logan likes that because I only put uh, like a handful of berries in here and that's it. I've cut back on my fruit on my smoothies and I was already not putting that much fruit in to begin with but I'm just trying to be extra careful with my fruit and sugar intake in general and so this is super super green tasting like it straight up tastes like grass. All right, I'm gonna take a chill pill, enjoy my smoothie for a little bit, cool down because I am hot. A shower I think is uh underway here pretty soon <laughs> kids are eating lunch i got some cannellini beans and avocado for logan with a little green smoothie if he wants some more sierra's being stubborn about her smoothie but she's having a grilled cheese sandwich definitely not the healthiest thing but she's happy i'm happy everyone's happy hey logan why do you do that why do you put your foot up here no feet on the table oh my goodness Careful. Let me try. Jeez. Okay, how do you... Duh, goodness. Okay, eat your food, you stinker. Justin needs to wrap up a few things outside before we go to Costco, so about 30 minutes, he said, which is just enough time for me to take the metabolic typing test in this book that I just recently got. What he claims is that we were all metabolically unique for hereditary reasons, which makes perfect sense. And so that's why the one size fits all diets do not work, okay? We have to eat specific to our own body chemistry. So I'm really curious to take this test to see what my metabolic type is and how I can best tailor my diet to suit that type.
got everything put away super quick. That's how we roll with our Costco runs. I'm making dinner really quick for the kids before I get started on our dinner, but just to show you what we're doing here. I'm being very unhealthy and very quick. We got the frozen chicken nuggets and Amy's broccoli cheddar here, which these are the chicken nuggets. Not a healthy item by any means, you guys. And same thing goes for this. I, I really like the Amy's soups and their frozen items are actually not terribly terrible, if that makes any sense. So yeah, it's a, you know, it's a paragraph of ingredients, but it could be worse, that's for sure. But the kids like these two things. I love getting this frozen salmon from Trader Joe's. It's usually really good without fail. And instead of breading, like bread breading, I'm going to use minced onion and minced garlic. And then I'm gonna roast up some broccoli and purple cauliflower on the side. This is gonna be dinner tonight. <laughs> The next day. The first time I've ever done rock work so it's not rocket science, you just get in there and do it. I've got some green apples with cinnamon here, some slivered almonds. Sierra already ate her cinnamon apples and she's finishing up some almonds. We're watching some Truck House Live. This is a channel we really love on YouTube about a guy in Alaska who does a lot of uh, traveling around in his truck, but he's also building a really sweet cabin. So lots of fun. Sierra actually wanted to watch this this morning and I was like, okay, I can get down on some Truck House Live. Normally I do a little Bible study in the mornings. I follow this guide here, which I started doing a long time ago, and it's just kind of hit and miss when I'm able to do it. 14 weeks in and I am that far through the Bible there, which is actually pretty cool when you look at tangible results there. It's just not realistic for me to do it, you know, five, six days a week. So what I've started doing is three days each week and so the way it's structured usually is six days of reading and then a catch-up day so i'll do three days in one week and then three days the next week monday wednesday friday seems to be working so tomorrow's friday so i will do that reading then this morning i'm just going to do my morning mercy gospel here which i try to do every day if i can like most days five six days maybe not seven days then i'll do a little bit of fitness and faith journaling here and I'm even thinking about catching up Justin's honey-do list here because there are definitely some things around the house that need to be fixed. So. Logan, get down. Get down. No! This has become his new favorite thing. He loves to climb up on the back of our chairs. Both of our chairs rock. And we're just so afraid he's going to topple over and face plant. And he actually fell the other day from climbing on top of the table on the deck and shifted one of his teeth. It was gnarly. It was bleeding. It's like total snaggle tooth now. So did not get to decorating yesterday like I had hoped. There just wasn't enough time. And I developed a horrible nauseating headache yesterday evening after having just a few sips of rosé. Yesterday is our wine Wednesday. That lasted me all night long into the morning and I had to take Advil, which is normally a super last resort for me when I have any kind of pain, but I knew I needed that in order to function. On top of that, my glutes are super sore from my Tuesday class because we did a ton of single leg exercises. And so my butt is so sore. So it's definitely a day where like going to the bathroom is like 
<laughs> 80 year old woman status <laughs> it's bad I'm definitely dragging today but I'm still determined to decorate today that might be my my movement anyway I finished taking the metabolic typing test that I started yesterday and I read uh, all the information about my type and that is protein type now I'm not shocked because I thrive on protein. I feel a really strong sense of satiety when I eat substantial protein, especially like red meats and heavier, like fattier meats and stuff. So he says I should focus on 70% fats and proteins, 30% carbs, specifically purine type fats, which I think means provides a higher satiety level, richer in protein or something like that. So for example, like liver and organ meats and pates and things like that are like super high purine level and then like red meat and chicken and fish are like medium purine levels and um, either little or no starchy carbohydrates which I do anyway but I mean bananas and squashes and things like that all qualify so I, I have to be very mindful of all that stuff hi bud mm -hmm. also mentioned that the protein types need to avoid alcohol and caffeine <laughs> I've been cutting back on the alcohol anyway for the candida issue that I think I have going on. Hi, sweetheart. All very interesting. So it does explain why lately, um, some days during the week, I have a super crash. So I'm just having my smoothie with like not a lot of protein, you know, maybe a little cheese or a little little nuts or something with it. Some days I do, I do a protein lunch. It just depends on what we have in the fridge or what's available. I do notice a difference when I eat a substantial meal like that with protein rich uh, food. Anyway, so I gotta get to making food for the kids and starting my day and fingers crossed we get the decorations going sooner than later. <laughs> All right, got myself a very protein and fat rich breakfast here that should be very satiating for me. Logan's having a little bit of leftover sausage and eggs, some avocado toast and some bacon. And I made Sierra a very yummy looking breakfast sandwich here with scrambled eggs and some cheddar cheese. And that's a whole grain, healthy grain bread, locally made, zero preservatives and bad oils in that bread. It's not a sprouted grain bread, but it's the healthiest bread that I can find next to Ezekiel bread. I always have that for the kids at least and for Justin when he wants toast in the mornings and then bacon for Sierra here too. This is a nitrate, you know, nitrite free bacon, sugar free, really good. Just putting on the same clothes I wore yesterday and I meant to show you guys this. How awesome is this shirt? I love this. Barstool Sports, that's the same guy as the One Bite Pizza, I think his channel is on YouTube. He is hilarious. I love that guy. So on the front, it has... It has that on the front. And my besties gave this to me as well as one for Justin that says, dude, I love freedom. So DILF in commemoration of our wedding anniversary on the 4th of July. And I just, I just love this. It's one of my favorite t-shirts now. So thank you, Emily. Special shout out. Love you, girl. I'm going to get down on hydrating today. And one of the things I do when I'm very sore, like I am today, is I am sure to add these things to my water. I don't do these every single day. I just do them intermittently throughout the week. MSM stands for methyl sulfonylmethane. It is a type of bioavailable sulfur, uh, which is obviously, like it says, really good for joint health, connective tissue, but this also helps to expedite muscle soreness. Trace mineral drops too, so I get plenty of my electrolytes there as well. Plenty of magnesium, that's a big one for me. I notice when I don't get enough of that, I have the aches and pains. And this calm powder here, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this, this is primarily magnesium and calcium. So again, these are just a few additional methods that I like to implement to make sure I'm getting adequate mineral intake for my joint connective tissue and muscle health and just to help with any kind of recovery that I need post-workout. Got some Amazon packages today. Lots and lots of diapers, which I'm really happy arrived today because I pretty much ran out of those. <laughs> I only had night diapers left, so really glad those came. And a few other things. A new bathing suit for Sierra with the uh, rash guard sleeves, so a little less sunscreen application for her, which is always nice because you guys feel me. Applying sunscreen to the toddlers is cumbersome. 
And then this guy I was waiting on for like a month. This is a, a rash guard for myself. I have it in white, but I decided to get it in black because I got some new Creek shoes in black. So I really like this style a lot. It's very flattering. It has Empire waist seam here and then a zipper here that goes all the way up to the base of the neck. And then it's kind of bungee strings on the side so you can kind of tighten it up shorter or you can extend it longer on your torso. So it's very adjustable for your height, which is nice. And then I got a couple more uh, crop tops for my activewear. This is that brand I really like, the Crazy Yoga. And I'm going to actually wear one of these outfits tonight. I have it in a magenta purple color. So I'm going to wear that tonight to yoga. But these are meant to go with my high-waisted pants, but also shorts. I have both of these colors. First piece of 4th of July decor is going up and that is the wreath for the front door. This was actually the wreath that we had over our sweetheart table for our wedding. Oh, I just love it so much. So meaningful, so special. And it goes on our front door every year. Gonna decorate for the 4th of July, yay! my beanie babies from when I was a kid and they are perfect for on top of the speakers. shirt just like mommy same yeah. same wavelength huh sweetheart yeah. yeah feels so good to have all the decorations done I definitely have a ton more but <laughs> it's just a matter of place to put them and time that I have which is very limited I fed the kids some cannellini beans avocado olives Sierra had a little bit of taco meat too and then Logan had a meat pouch just kind of just some random tidbits of what we had laying around and then for myself I'm having uh, the mixed spring greens I get at the farmers market with last night's leftover salmon and veggies and I threw in some radishes avocado heirloom cucumbers and this is with avocado oil and a champagne vinaigrette and, and lemon juice squeezed on top I'm really hoping this is enough protein and fat to hold me over until I get back from work which will be around like 8 o'clock tonight so right now it's like 345 so I think it should be fine and then I'm having some sparkling water with lemon here, and that's, that's usually pretty filling and always refreshing and delicious. Okay, so I have to jam to work here in a minute, but I just wanted to share the crazy yoga outfit that I was telling you guys about earlier. I also got the matching pants as well, uh, but the brown and black is, are the other two color sets that I have. But I am totally digging it. It's very cute. Love the little two-inch like peekaboo of the abdominal area. And then the racer tee back and then the built-in bra is kind of nice so it's a like, one less article of clothing to be wearing which is cool so comfortable i love this material it's called butter Lux, and it is legit accurate feels like butter and it's luxury it's amazing i am loving the crazy yoga clothes i'm obsessed and i'm really digging these outfits for sure <gasps> all right got a jam to work
happy to be back to work and be back to training. It is just my purpose in life. I love helping people with their health, their wellness, and enhancing their everyday quality of life. Yoga class was awesome. I love that instructor. In fact, she's actually my neighbor, come to find out. She lives just down the street. She's super sweet. Her class is amazing. Maybe love to do like a collab with her down the road. What a great day. I got everything accomplished that I needed to today. Got to work with a couple of my clients tonight. Did a yoga class. Going home to the fam bam and dinner, bedtime, all the standard mom stuff. You guys, thank you so much for joining me in this day, actually technically days in the life. <laughs> thank you again, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Little mama life, fitness, nutrition, all the lovely things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Bye.